You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and I want to check out the game called Hot Hoops. It's a head-to-head -head hoops action, whether you're home or away. So you can travel with it. That's the handle. So this handle sticking out of the box is the handle that's here on the top. Ages 5 plus from MGA Entertainment, one or two players. Now, I got this at a garage sale. Look, it was priced at $5, and with it, I got three Play-Doh sets all in the box. Now, a couple were missing pieces, so I'm searching for that, and I was able to bundle. What a bundle. Well, you can bring up, you know, three or four items and say, would you take $12 for all of them? And sometimes they say yes, sometimes they counter, but, you know, that's just part of shopping at garage sales. So, uh, by the end, I didn't pay $5 for it, so... It says, play alone or challenge a friend for the ultimate hoops competition. Okay, that's really it. Oh, right here. It includes four basketballs for nonstop play. Portable. Easily folds up so you can take it with you anywhere, anytime. And I'm not sure if there's even, maybe batteries. I have no idea. Let me see. Sometimes the bottom will yield more information, and it doesn't. No information. I don't even see a year yet, so I don't know when it's from. So I'll know more. Hopefully when I get it out of the box. So let me do that next and we'll check it out. All right, I'm going to break in here and show you some of the box opening just so you can see. It looks to be completely never out of the box, an original. Uh-oh. Let's see. So maybe there's more that needs to come out. You just never know when you're taking things out of the box. For me, that's one of the biggest challenges is getting out of the box and trying to preserve everything. So there's more tape on the bottom. And if I get to the bottom, I can look inside and see maybe it's being held in there by something. Okay, there's tape on the whole bottom. Hmm. Intriguing. There we go. So that flap out. Aha. So there's more paperwork in here and stuff. Looks like that's where they store the items down underneath there. Okay, now it should slide out. Which way though? There we go. I'm not sure what was holding in. Maybe just a little piece of tape or something. All right, cardboard insert. Cardboard inserts. Okay, that maybe will take some of the, ah, uh, there we go. Okay. I normally don't show you that because sometimes it can be a real struggle. But, you know, I guess it's all the excitement of checking out a new toy. And I didn't put in, I don't know if there's batteries that go with this or, yep, I'm going to need batteries. Okay. No, that's actually storage. Okay, so there are no batteries. All right, so I think you're just shooting. I don't know if anything's keeping score. Let's flip that down. Flip that down. Oh, there they are. Now, interestingly enough, look at the, the hoop. It looks like a tube that runs through. I wonder if it's all storing underneath, so that'll determine who, what's going on here. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, we'll see. It's interesting though, doesn't it? All right, so the good thing about videotaping me taking it all in the box is that I, a lot of times, will review the videotape to put it all back in exactly like I found it. Okay, so let's see if there's official rules here. So there's this MG Entertainment card. This sometimes have the, has the year on it. And I don't see it there either. Maybe I missed it, I don't know. If that doesn't have it, usually the instructions always has the year. All right, so I don't know the year. I'm guessing 2000s, but maybe it's a little older. I'm not sure. Unless, one last thing. Check on the bottom, see if it's printed there. Just curious. Uh, yes, trademark, 2000. All right. Oops, sorry. So let's see how this has got a... Okay. What's that doing? Oh, they roll back. See that went through? 
I'm not sure what's going on. So is it counting and keeping track? Aha, okay. Let's see. Something's going on here. Game preparation. Before you hit the court, remove the four mini basketballs from the plastic patch. Just set the game upright on a flat surface and unfold each shooting end of the game. I did all that. One player. To practice your own shooting skills, choose a side of the court to shoot from. Place a mini basketball into the shooter and turn the shooter to the desired angle. Press down on the other shooter, then quickly reach it. Watch the mini basketball fly into the air and toward the net. All right. Here we go. That's simple enough. And then it goes out that side. I was thinking maybe there was a blocker in there. This seems to, like it should do something, doesn't it? And I'm wondering if the clear, hmm. I just took that apart accidentally. There we go. And then this is going to go here. Okay, all right. So let's just shoot four and see what happens. Here we go. One. Miss. Two. Three. Four. Now what releases them? Aha! So that's your ball release. Let's try that again. Oh, so you could have it up or down. I get it now. Okay, that makes sense. So I guess if you're playing head to head and you let it down, you'll see who wins by releasing. So let me put one on this side. So now who won if it was a two player game? Watch. Three. Three for me, one for the other player. So that's how it's keeping score. That makes total sense now. Let me just show you a in out here. What if I do this? Can I drop this? Can I lift this? And then turn this like this? That's pretty neat. I would say that option of one or two players is pretty cool. All right, here we go. One. I won't be able to return the balls back though. Now the other one that I played a while ago you know, it was keeping score and you had to shoot and it was moving, so it was a little bit different now. The balls won't come all the way up. All right. That's still pretty neat. Let me give you a top down so you can see me making my shots here. Here we go. Now watch. As I swish them all. Let's see if I could do all four without missing any. Okay. Try again. So you can shoot it over. That was bad. That was bad. Okay, so that's not working. Let's try again. No, maybe I'm just not getting a feel for it. One. Okay, here we go. I'm on a run now. Ah, missed. One. Okay, let me start over. Are they all out? Oh, they're just coming out. Okay. Here we go. Once I start a run, I got to get all four. Turn. Now this turn so you can change that angle if you need to. Ooh. Come on now. Definitely not hot hoops. It's more like cold, cold shots. Well, that's cool to go all the way up. Maybe you could hit someone in the head on the other side. One. Ah. Ooh, that was cool. Wow, it's very sensitive. I'm just trying to get that right amount. Get back here. All right, I'm going to do this one more time. Let me start over. Here, let me do this. Let me see if this is the side that was working better for me. Here we go. I'm going to 
Not use that as an excuse now, but. Oh, I felt that too. That would have been a good run. Interesting too, look, you can see right through to your other person shooting hoops. So if you're on the other side, this is what you're gonna see if you're looking through. You're watching them go, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. They roll right off my table. Ooh, there. All right, I would say that's pretty cool. It's from 2000. One or two players, the Hot Hoops game. And thanks for watching. And I have done other different versions of this, including maybe a mini one. And another full-size one. So anytime I see them, I grab them. If you wonder where I get things, a lot of them like this at a garage sale. And thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.